<laughs> 15 months we waited. It's finally here. Let's talk about it. Hello, buddy. DK Goatee here, and welcome to my review of Spiral from the Book of Saw, which was my most anticipated movie of this year and last year before it got delayed to this year. Guys, I am a massive Saw fan. The first movie is one of my favorite movies of all time. We are talking top three. That movie is brilliant in my opinion and was there's a lot of things about that movie that really that I really adore but the main thing about that movie the reason why I love it so much is because when I was a kid that movie scared the ever living shit out of me and I hadn't even watched it and then when I finally grew up I, I, I had like no intention of ever watching it even when I started becoming less of a wuss and when I finally watched it I absolutely loved it it instantly became one of my favorite movies of all time so the first movie is one of my favorite movies of all time the second movie I consider one of the best horror sequels of all time and then every subsequent movie from up to this new one, Spiral, I have all thought was pretty darn fun with some particular highlights being in 4 and 6. Those are also two of my favorites of the franchise, but we have finally got Spiral. I waited forever for this damn movie. I have been so looking forward to this. The trailers had such had so much hope in them and there was so everything pointed towards this movie being awesome from the fact that Chris Rock approach, uh, approached Lionsgate with this pitch and they loved it so much they immediately made it a thing and put Chris Rock in it and they got Samuel L. Jackson to come in they got Darren Bowsman back from uh, Saw 2, 3, and 4 he was the director of Saw 2, 3, and 4 really awesome director I really like Darren Bowsman and his films uh, so yes getting him back was also a huge point towards this being a great movie and the trailers looked absolutely awesome so I was in I was absolutely stoked for this movie and did it live up to the hype well I'm gonna tell you right now let's start off with everything that I loved about spiral from the book of saw the absolute biggest thing that I loved about this movie was this portrayal of jigsaw this jigsaw was so awesome all of the jigsaw things that they do with this to kind of change him up from the previous jigsaws I love every single one of them the voice in particular I love that voice. That voice is creepy and perfect. If they make another, even though I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the next movie's already been confirmed that it's going to be made, but I hope they keep this voice. I know this that people have bitched and moaned about the voice, but no, it's perfect. I love it. I love that voice. Every time you said, I want to play a game, I love that. Absolutely freaking awesome. I also like the design of the new pig mask. I think it's very cool. I really like the overall look of uh, of the new jigsaw. I like the thing with the spirals. I like the fact that he marks his, he, that he like marked his uh, his like traps with the spirals instead of the jigsaw pieces that the original jigsaw would do. Um, and I liked that he like kept sending like the little present boxes and was like kind of leading on the detectives into, into like all of this. Like that's all kind of in the trailers and I thought that was all really, really, really cool. I just really thought this jigsaw was really cool. Also, the puppet. One thing that I was very skeptical about with this movie is the is the decision to replace Billy the Puppet, who is by all intents and purposes the star of this franchise. He's the face of Saw. And they replaced him with this puppet. And when I first saw the new puppet, which I believe is named Mr. Snuggles, which I don't know if I how I feel about that name. When I first saw it, I didn't know how to feel about it. I didn't know if he was going to be a worthy successful successor to Billy, just like I didn't know if, you know, the new Jigsaw would be a worthy successor to John Kramer, the original Jigsaw. And I have to be honest, I absolutely loved this new puppet. I thought he was so darn entertaining. He was He's not in the movie much, but honestly, when he's in it, it's a, kind of a highlight. I really like the new puppet, and Trick or Treat Studios is apparently making that one, and I might, I might have to get it. I loved that damn puppet. So, as far as the new puppet goes, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied. I think he will be a worthy success for, successor to the great the late great uh, Billy the Puppet. So yeah, really loved just about everything they did with Jigsaw in this movie. The next thing I absolutely loved about Spiral was Chris Rock. I thought Chris Rock absolutely killed it. I loved it from beginning to end. I thought he was fantastic in the movie. I really did. I thought he brought everything to it. And that was really awesome. I love the fact that this whole movie is all thanks to Chris Rock. And I love the fact that he's a huge Saw fan and he made this happen. Like that is a really 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 awesome thing just that alone makes me love this movie the fact that we have a massive a-list actor like chris rock who loves this franchise enough to bring this to bring this pitch idea like i don't know if i've ever heard that before and i really really loved that about this movie and i really thought chris rock did bring everything to this role i i absolutely loved him in the movie i also thought some of the other cast members were really good marissa nichols i think was her name the chief of the police in this i thought she was really great in the movie i thought max Minghella was pretty good in the movie um 
and uh, obviously Samuel L. Jackson's great as he always is. I mean, it's Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson in a Saw movie, yeah, it's pretty freaking great. So I really liked the cast overall in this, and I think that is just about everything that I really loved about uh, the movie. I thought the games, the games as well, the games were all very, very, very cool. They were. This is definitely like... It's definitely a Saw movie, and that is something I'm going to talk about a little more in a second here, but it's definitely a Saw movie. The, the games in this one, they are very much a Saw movie, so yeah. I like them all. I don't want to spoil any of them, I thought, but I thought they were all pretty darn cool overall, and uh, yeah. And once again, I thought the acting was all very, very good, good overall, so... I think that is just about everything that I loved about Spiral. I'm not not thinking of anything else that really comes to mind that I really loved about this movie. All right, now we're gonna talk about some things that I did not so much like. Cause yeah, there were this, there were a couple things that di I did not really like about Spiral, and we're gonna talk about those now. And the main one for me, this might be more of a problem with me overall, but I was expecting more from this movie. I honestly was because the trailers really made this look like it was gonna be something new, something fresh and it really isn't it, it it really is just kind of another saw movie which is a little it's 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 a little disappointing because like i really like the fact that they went back to the basics where we don't know who the jigsaw killer is and it, and they're trying to figure out who it is and you know you're getting this kind of mystery and they're kind of following it along just like the original saw one of my favorite movies of all time i was really looking forward to seeing how this would go out and i was really hoping that it would be a like it, it almost to the same level as that original movie and like I was seeing um like reviews the first couple reviews that came out for Spiral were saying things like it's so new it's so it's such a breath of fresh air for the franchise it's so uh it's such a different and awesome take on it and I kept hearing that the ending was insane and I was like this movie is actually going to be as good as the first one isn't it it's actually going to be like saw one level awesome and I can't wait for it I was I thought the ending was going to blow my mind like the original ending of the first movie and I gotta be honest, leading into my next negative, I thought the twist at the end of this movie was pretty fucking obvious. I I saw this coming from a, a mile away. The the reveal of the killer in this one really did not catch me off guard whatsoever. I I yeah, it was pretty obvious. However, one thing I will say, I might not have I the twist I'm not a crazy about because I definitely saw it coming, and the obvious red herrings were there as well. Yeah, it was it was not the best twist of the franchise, but definitely, but I did like the ending, the ending of the movie, because the twist isn't actually like the entire ending of the movie, um, but the actual ending I thought was really cool. I, I actually really, really liked the last little like three minutes of it. I thought it was all really cool, really unique, and it really did feel kind of, it did, that part did feel a little different. I don't know if we've ever seen anything like that with, uh, with the franchise. Overall, so yes, the ending I liked, but the twist I thought was kind of obvious overall. Another thing that I didn't really love about this movie was the... Okay, this is something that I'm really sick of seeing in horror movies these days. They did this with It Chapter 2, and it just gets on my fucking nerve. The fact that... Okay, after the opening scene of this movie, after you get the opening game, which was really awesome, after you get that one, you go into this huge extremely loud scene where Chris Rock is like going along with like I don't I guess I shouldn't really say exactly what it is because it's spoiler but it's so loud and I swear to god the word fuck is said about 50 times throughout that in the entire like 20 minutes of this movie I swear to god they say the word fuck at least 50 times and I really hate when movies do this they did this in Ed chapter 2 I'm just going to this that really annoys me it People don't talk like that, okay? Adults don't talk like that. Yes, it is fun to say the word fuck. I love saying the word fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. But people do not say it 50 times within one sentence. And it's just every single character is bouncing back. They can't say the two words without throwing in the word fuck or fucking or fucking. And I'm just like, people don't talk like that, okay? People do not just throw fuck into every single, after every single word they say. And I hate the fact that people keep doing this in these horror movies. Yes, they're adults. I get it. But people just don't talk like that. It really takes me out of the movie when they do that. And also, throughout the entire, like, I don't know, like 10 minutes of this, it's so loud there's so much screaming and then there's like this hip-hop like really really just generic hip-hop music that I really just don't like whatsoever uh just playing in the background throughout the whole time and it's just like the exact kind of music that I really just don't like at all although I will say I do kind of like the 21 Savage song I just like that I'm a little spin like a spiral I like that I do kind of like the 21 Savage song but 
I really, like, the whole, the whole freaking, like, t first ten minutes of the movie, there's just, well, after the opening scene, there's just, like, a, this freaking super generic hip-hop song in the background. I'm just like, uh, this is not off to a great start with me other than the, the beginning was, like, the opening scene is really awesome, but the, uh, the scene after that, I don't know, it did kind of take me out of the movie a little bit, uh, because, like, it's just, it's so, it just doesn't feel real at all, and... That is something I definitely wanted to bring to attention, but um, I think that might be my final negative with the movie overall. I can't really think of anything else that I didn't particularly like. I just think it does feel like this movie... I, I think I, I, I talked about this a little bit, but this movie doesn't really feel any different from another Saw movie, honestly. It, it kind of follows the exact same template of Saw movies, although it kind of throws in the investigation and the the fact that we don't know who the Jigsaw Killer is in this one, but it still doesn't really have its own spin on it. It's still kind of just another Saw movie, which I have to be honest, I'm a little disappointed in. I thought it was going to be something different. I thought it was going to be, um, I thought it was really going to be an overall just a different take on the series overall and not just following the exact same formula that pretty much all the movies do because it does it does kind of follow the same formula so while i think this movie okay so we'll lead into the final thoughts on spiral did i like it yes i liked it a lot i did like it a lot but i was expecting more from it because i really did think it was going to be different from all the other saw movies the trailers were making it look like it was going to be different it wasn't just going to be the same thing again and it kinda is, honestly. It, it is kind of pretty similar to Saw. So I would say that this is a great Saw movie, but that's all it really is. It's not really being its own thing, and it's, it is a little bit disappointing because after, what is it now, eight movies? And now we're on to the ninth, so that's nine movies in total of almost the same thing. And I don't know, I really was kind of hoping that there would be more of a spin on this, or a spiral, should I say. Um, so yeah, that is gonna be my, my final thing to say about Spiral. So, once again, final thoughts, I did like the movie a lot. I will happily say that this is probably in my top three favorite Saw movies. It's not nearly as good as the first two, those are absolutely, ma those are absolute masterpieces, but I would say this is probably the third best movie in the franchise. I think this one did top four and six for me. I think I will be rewatching this one more than four and six, even though I do really like four and six, but... Um, yeah, this, this movie was a lot of fun. I really did like the ending. I really liked everything they did with the Jigsaw Killer. I liked Chris Rock overall. I thought he was extremely entertaining and really awesome. And he is, he's pretty much in the movie, like, from beginning to end. Like, Chris Rock is, like, the, he's, he's the stand, he's the absolute face of this movie. So, yeah, he's really great in it as well. So, overall, I think Spiral is a kick-ass Saw movie, but not really anything other than a kick-ass Saw movie, which I guess is not really something you can be ashamed of, because, yeah, that's, I'm pretty sure that's what they wanted to do. They wanted it to be a kick-ass Saw movie, and they very much succeeded. Aside from a few little minor nitpicks, like the, the constant use of the word fuck in the first, like, 20 minutes of the movie, just every effing sentence and after every word, yeah, that just kind of takes me out of it a little bit, but aside from just some minor little nitpicks like that, I really, really, really enjoyed Spiral. I will say Spiral from the Book of Saw is an A-. minus. I thought it was overall a really, really, really enjoyable movie, um, and yeah, I did like it a lot, and I can't wait for it to come out on Blu-ray, and I'm hoping we'll get an awesome steelbook, because the posters for this movie were freaking sweet, man, especially that first one. I love that one. It was just the, the kind of open poster. It just had Chris Rock in the middle, and then the traffic light with the little spiral in the light. That was the coolest fucking poster ever. I honestly hope they just take that poster, put that on the steelbook release, because yeah, very much enjoyed the movie. So, there you guys have it. 15 months, we finally have Spiral. Let me know, have you guys seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me in a, leave me a comment down below. Um, keep in mind, this is, of course, just the opinion of a random Transformer reviewer on the internet. And, uh, yeah, on that note, before, if you're thinking, if you enjoyed this video and you're thinking about going hit that sub button, be warned, I don't make videos like this too often. I am a Transformer reviewer, but, uh, I do like to occasionally, uh, try different things, things that I really like. And Saw is definitely one thing that I really, really, really like. It's a franchise that I absolutely Absolutely love and yes I I was absolutely stoked for this movie so there you go I think that's just about everything that needs to be said so there you have it everybody thank you all so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and this is DK Guillotine uh, signing out